the intercontinental so destroyed they actually think that this is normal this is not normal you know it's not normal to be out here with trash all over the place you got bullet holes in the front stop you got people passed out either drunk or on drugs this is not normal this is a bad condition so why do we live like this the brother's going to show you just give him a few minutes show him why we curse so he can understand the importance of knowing who you are and more importantly what we can do to lift these curses because that's what he's teaching Somebody picked it up and said, oh, this Indian means I'm an Aboriginal, I'm a native to the land, or I'm an indigenous. That's what they try to say. The original came from the conquerors. The people who came over and enslaved them. They called them slaves. And their term for slaves was Indian. Understand that. Your people are not called Indians. That was a name given to you by another nation of people. I agree. I agree Understand that. that. So we can't say that because your true nationality is in the Bible as an Israelite. There ain't no such thing as Indian in the Bible. Ain't no such thing as native in the Bible. Understand, ain't no such thing as black, American, African American. None of that stuff is in where your heritage is found. Understand that. You was brought, your ancestry was brought on slave ships. Whether they was here already, they either got taken to Spain, French, Europe, wherever. If they was all so-called natives over here, or Indians over here, they got taken over there as slaves. Understand that. When we got transferred, it's called the Transatlantic Slave Trade. It happened in 1619, right? But in 1492, Christopher Columbus slaved the native people here first. Right. Understand that. So you 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 are ancestry to slaves. That's right. Facts. You can't change the facts. They was here first already. Guess what? They became slaves when the conquistadors came and conquered them. Give me Ezra's uh, second Ezra's 13 and 14. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that the people that was over here were Israelites. Okay. Hey, somebody give me the Jewish Encyclopedia and look up Ezra. Right, I got you. Second Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 40. No. Those are the ten tribes. So the ten tribes of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Which were carried away prisoners uh -huh. out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanasser the king of Assyria. Let away captives. So when you go into the history, 
The Assyrians conquered the northern kingdom of Israel. They took them away captives into Assyria. Go ahead. And he carried them over the waters. Uh -huh. And so came they into another land. Go ahead. But they took this counsel amongst themselves. Go ahead. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So they took them out themselves. They said, you know what? We're going to get away from the heathen. And where are we going to go? And go forth into a further country. They're going to go to a forth to a further country. Remember, the ten tribes of Israel are saying this. We're going to go to a further country. What? Where never mankind dwelt. Before Columbus so-called discovered this land, right? There was people over here already, right? But they said they went to a country where never mankind dwelt. We only find out that mankind dwelt over here after they already discovered it, right? Before, before Christopher Columbus in 1492 and all them came over here, did anybody know that there was somebody on the side of the earth? No, they didn't. Nobody knew there was, and besides, the, that's what I'm saying, the world didn't know, but the people who was over there knew, of course, they went there, right? See what I'm saying? Go ahead. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. So the 10 tribes said that we're gonna go to a place where never mankind dwelt, which is the western hemisphere of the, of the world, go ahead. And they entered into Euphrates uh -huh. by the narrow passages of the river. Right. For the Most High then showed signs for them. So they went, they left out the river Euphrates. They came all the way around the bottom of Africa and everything. And the Most High held the waters calm so that they could make it. Go ahead. And held still the flood uh -huh. till they were passed over. Till they was passed over. Go ahead. For through that country there was a great way to go. So it took them how long? Go ahead. Namely, of a year and a half. It took them a year and a half to get from that side all the way over to the western side. Go ahead. And the same region is called Osiris. The same region that they that they went to, the land that no mankind dwelt is called Osiris. That's the original name of it, not America, because America was given its name by Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian car, uh, uh, cartographer, a map maker. That's where they got the name from. That's where they named it. It was Amerigo at first, but they changed it to America to make it more feminine. That's how they did it, bro. I read the history of it. Give this up. Jewish Encyclopedia. Get ready to tell you what the land of Arsenal is. Because everything you gotta understand is history backs the Bible up. Because this is a historical book, it's not a religious book. Everybody thinks it as religion and puffs of smoke and clouds and all that shit. Bruh, it's a historical book. Go ahead. This is the Jewish Encyclopedia. Definition of Arsiris, the name of the land beyond the great river, uh -huh. far away from the habitation of man. So the land beyond the great river, far beyond the habitation of man. Go ahead. In which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. Go ahead. Observing the laws of Moses uh -huh. until the time of the restoration. Right. Go according ahead. to fourth or second Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 45. So the scholars know what's up because that's how Christopher Columbus found this side of the world. He used the scriptures. Go ahead. Columbus identified America with this land. So the land of Arsiris, Columbus identified America with that land. The land where never mankind dwelt. So you right. People was over here. It was the Israelites that was over here. And when they got conquered, I'm talking about the ancient Mayans, Incas, Aztecs, Arawaks, Taino, all of that. They were Israelites first before they got all those names. They got those names from the Spanish people. You understand what I'm saying? Most of them, damn near every name. Right, but what I'm saying is their original name is what God called them, the Israelites. You gotta understand it was the tribe of Manasseh, the tribe of Simeon, the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Asher. They was over here. That was what they were going by. They weren't going by Iroquois. They weren't going by Taino. They weren't going by uh, uh, Aztec, Incas, Mayans. They got them names from the oppressive people. Look at these people. These are the Israelites, bro, on this side of the world. That's what Second Edges just described to you. He's telling you that the people that was over here, because a lot of our people do that. They say, it was already people over here. You're right. The Israelites was already over here. Ten tribes, a whole kingdom of the north, the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel was on this side of the earth. Understand, it was already here. And it showed you how they got here. And how they found it was using the scriptures. They used the book of the, the apocryphal book, Second Edges. I don't even know. I understand that. But what I'm saying is they show it to you in movies. You can go watch 1492. It's an old school movie. Where Christopher Columbus tells you, I believe it's no more than 750 leagues west. And the dude's like, how you do that? How you know that? He said, you know, 
uh, philosophers or, 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 or prophets. He said, Duskanese, he named a few, and then he named Ezra. And then the dude was like, Ezra? Ezra was a Jew. And he's like, so was Christ. And he's like, oh, already you speaking blasphemy things. You gotta understand, they put this stuff in the movies to show you that this is real. That's right. The 10 tribes of Israel was already over here. And guess what? They were all dark skinned. Right. They weren't light skinned yet. They didn't get light skinned until the conquistadors came. Understand that. So yes, there's dark Afro Indians, Afro, whatever you want to call them. Those, all those names are oppressive names. Their real names is Ephraim, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar. Those is what God called them. Right. That's not what, you know what I'm saying? When we get out these other books, and what the white man teaches you in history, and what somebody else teaches you says, oh, the Indians, indigenous, God don't know them terms. God knows Ephraim, God knows Asher, God knows Gad. You understand what I'm saying? God knows Israel. We right. don't know none of this other stuff. You know why we go by them names? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 37. Yep. This is why, bro, because we are cursed people. We was put under God's curses because we didn't listen to him. Just like a lot of our brothers right now. Like you don't even know that God said you're supposed to wear fringes. You don't even know that because he's not being taught to you. Because God's your father, he's your, his children. He told you to dress a certain way. He don't care how everybody else do. What's your name? Shane. Oh yeah. He said, Shane, you're supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be doing this. Because the natives, when they came over here, they had fringes on. That's the law of God. It just told you that they came over here to observe the laws of Moses. When they got here, why do you think Indians and all them had them had the tassels hanging up in their shirts? That's a law. Give me that. Numbers 15, 38. Just to show you it's in the nope. Bible. Just to show you that the ten tribes came over here keeping God's laws. They went off eventually. That's why the conquistadors came over here and conquered their ass. Because they went off from God. They started believing in spirits and idolatry. Understand that. When you go against God, you get cursed. That's where we are right now. That's, look at our people. Look at our state. Are we blessed? Are we blessed as a people? You can't say that. I don't care if you say yeah, you try to say yeah, it's a fair, it's a lot. We're not blessed, bro. Anybody that says we blessed out here, and they just, they playing with themselves and they hate. Go ahead, give me that. Numbers. The 10 tribes came over here keeping God's law. The Northern Kingdom had fringes on. We're gonna show you. Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Go ahead. Speak unto the children of Israel. So speak unto the children of Israel. That's the nation of Israel. All 12 tribes kept this law. Go ahead. And bid them. And bid them. Bid means command. The word bid means to command. God said command them. Go ahead. That they make them fringes. That they what? Look make the them fringes. Make them what? Fringes. Uh-huh. In the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe. On top of your fringes. What are you supposed to have? Of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. Go ahead. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So it was put on your garments to help you remind you that you gotta keep God's law. That you are God's chosen people. Cause God said the Israelites are separate. <laughs> Holy means separate. He said they're separate from everybody else. So if you're dressing like everybody else, how God know you separate? How God know you holy? He gave you a dress code. He give that to everybody else? Right. Understand that, give me that uh, song. Hold on, I'll give you that. He give that song. Cause I'm just showing you that God only gave it to the Israelites. That's why the 10 tribes came over here to keep God's law. That's why you see it in their garments. If you go to a powwow and you see the uh, Native Americans dancing and all that, and they got all the tassels and stuff hanging from their clothes, that's God's laws. Right. That's what they came over here to do. If you read about the Native Americans, so-called Native Americans, they didn't eat pork until the Spaniards brought it over here. You understand? They practice circumcision. That's in the Bible. That's God's law. Right. They kept the Sabbath day. They observed the seasons by the moon. That's in the, that's in the Bible. That's God's law. Look it up. They came over here to keep God's law. Understand that. We're not what the other nations call us. Other nations call us indigenous, Native American, Indian. That's that's a, a whole other nation calling us a different name. That's not ours. And we accepted it though. That's why a lot of us think that's what we call because we accepted it. We accept it. We, you know, we got destroyed, we got conquered, and we believed everything they told us. Why do you think so much about people in Christianity? Christianity's crazy. The same people that murdered and hanged and, and castrated our men had Christianity and taught us Christianity. And we run with it. We're destroyed in our minds, bro. That's what we here for to bring us back. Read that. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. God only gave his laws to the Israelites, to the nation of Israel. The reason why everybody else knows it is because we got conquered. 
and they took our book and then they tried to interpret it themselves and they did terrible. Go ahead. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So when he said he showed his word to Jacob and his statutes and judgments unto Israel, he's talking about the same people. He's talking about the nation that came under him. Because Jacob had 12 sons. Go ahead. He has not dealt so with any nation. Yeah, what? He has not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so with any other nation. You listen? He has not dealt so with any other nation. Read it again. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So he showed the word unto Jacob. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments. The, the judgments of breaking his law, he showed that to who? Unto Israel. The nation of Israel. Go ahead. He had not dealt so. He ain't deal so. With any nation. With any other nation outside the nation of Israel. He ain't talk to them. He ain't say, these my law, that's his commandments. When Moses went on the mount to get the commandments, who was that the bottom? Israel. Wasn't nobody else there? This is talking about that. How did, how did everybody else know to do God's law? They conquered us because we didn't lose. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. And as for his judgment, uh -huh. they have not known them. As for the judgments that other nations don't know. That's why they tell you you can do what you want. Give me Romans 6.23. Because God said if you sin against him, you die. But they told you you can do what you want. Deep and he knows it's in your heart. That's what Christianity teaches. Not sure if you're big on Christianity. I hope you're not. Go ahead. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages the of sin. The payment of sin is what? Is death. Is what? Is death. No, he knows my heart. For the wages of sin is death. Give me sin. First John 3 and 4. So let's break it down. Let's see what sin is. Why were they able to come over and rename us? Why were they able to do all these things? Go ahead. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. So whoever commits a sin. Transgressive also the law. Transgress means to break. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of the law. Understand that. So when I was out here, when I was out here like you, bro, before I was over here teaching the Bible, I was like this too. I was in sin. I ain't keep God's law. This is God's law. Understand. You're not the only one. A lot of our people get breaking God's laws right now. They don't know it though, because they're not getting taught that, because they rely on the Christianity church to teach them that, and they're not teaching that. Christianity church is run by the Catholics. It's run by the uh, white people. Ain't no white people that had you in slavery going to tell you the truth about you. Right. Why would he do that? It's empowering to know that God is black, Christ is black, all the prophets is black, all the nation of Israel was black, and they are supposed to rule the world. It's empowering to know that, so why would they tell you that? They're not going to tell you that. You can't trust them. They say God is love. The Bible says God hates. You see what I'm saying? We got to understand this, bro. Our history is in this. It's a historical book. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Just to show you. Because remember, if we sin, the wages of sin is death. How much death happened on the slave trade? Alright. We were breaking God's laws. How much death happened when the conquistadors came to the side of the land and, and conquered all the so-called Indian tribes? A lot of death. They was massacring women, children, men, old men, young men, old women, young women. They didn't care. A lot of death happened because we was breaking God's law. And we still doing it today. And how's a lot of death happening today? Look at Chicago. They're killing each other. The police shooting us down and getting off. A lot of death is happening. Why? Because we not listening to our father. He told us to wear certain clothes, eat certain food, keep his high holy days. He got more high holy days than they do hell day. So called Christmas day. We got more high holy days than them. And ours last for weeks. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. He's speaking to the Israelites right here. He said something. Listen. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So a future prophecy. He said it will come to pass if you don't listen to me. Go ahead. To observe to do. All his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, that all these what? These curses Go ahead. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said if the nation of Israel did not listen to him, in the future, there's going to be curses that's going to put on them. And it's going to overtake them and they can't get away from it. Let's read a curse. 
Verse 16. Curse shall they be in the city. Anywhere you see the so-called Black Hispanic Native Americans live, we're in a cursed condition. I don't care what you say. I don't care what nobody say out here. When you look at every city in America and there's black people in it, so-called black people in it, we in a bad position. We in a bad environment. Chicago, Philly, Baltimore, D.C. Understand that. We living in cursed conditions. Go ahead. Why? Because we ain't listening to God's law. It's evident. It's showing you. Go ahead. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt thou be in the field. That's going back to your history. 1690. This was written thousands of years before 1619 happened. This was written thousands of years before 1492 happened. You understand what I'm saying? And guess what happened? They went into a curse in the fields. Sugarcane fields, cotton fields, tobacco fields. They weren't picking that junk because they liked it. They was picking it because they was being forced to. You understand what I'm saying? Black people didn't like picking cotton back in the day. You think we got on ships to come over here to pick cotton? No. Go ahead. Verse 32, uh -huh. thy sons and thy daughters. It says thy sons and thy daughters, what? Shall be given unto another people. It shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters were taken in slavery and given to another people, right? When you came in there with a son or a daughter, they came and they took your son and your daughter, say you was in Georgia, and took your son and daughter and moved yeah. to Texas. And guess what? You never saw your kid again. Well, Guess what? Can and I they did that. They did that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Sir. Hold on, real quick. I got you. I got to go. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, mm -hmm. and there shall be no might in thine hand. Ain't no slave go up to the master and say, "Give me my child back." Ain't no slave was able to do that. We ain't had nobody to fight for us. You understand what I'm saying? How you do it today? How they do it today? CPS. When CPS come and take your kid, you ain't CFSA. go. Huh? CFSA. That's a child. They took my son. Exactly. When I was. Can you get your, you got your son back? No, he's 17. You got your son back? You got your son back? No. Read that again. he's in the street. Listen to this. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Her son and her daughter was given to another people. Go ahead. Yes, they were. And then I shall look. And, and fell with longing. And I asked her, did she get him back? No. Go ahead. For them all the day long. Because I'm pretty sure she wanted her child back. Go ahead. Oh, I want you to And there you. shall be no might in thine hand. Did you get him back? No. Because there's no might in our hand. Go ahead. But they're grown. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. God said we're going to become an astonishment. Everybody else looks at the so-called black and Spanish neighbor man like, how in the hell do these people live like this? That's how they look at us, bro. Regardless of how, how, how many friends or associates you got of them, they look at you like, what? Why is your condition like this? Oh, suck it up. Right? Slavery was old. It was old. Go ahead. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. Amongst all nations, they always say this. Even if you go to China, Asia, uh, 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 North, Australia, Australia Rome, anywhere, they're going to they gonna say this. Black people love chicken. Right? They're going to try to serve say? you chicken. I'm telling you. I've been to Korea. You know when they brought me to the table, fried chicken. I'm like, I didn't even ask for this. I'm telling you, bro, they all think the same thing about you. Go ahead. And a byword. And a byword. That's anything outside your God-given name. Right. American black, African American, black, nigga, color, spit, Indian. These are all bywords. Because right. God never called you that. God never called you that. You know, he called you an Israelite. Right. And depending on what tribe you was from. You understand? Like this brother, he's from the tribe of Levi. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. This brother Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We all got different tribes. We all belong to the nation of Israel, though. That's right. We're the same people. The so-called Mexican brothers out here, they from the tribe of Issachar. Right. That's the tribe they belong to. I'm telling you, man, God said his people will be scattered amongst all nations. Right. And we're going over curses that was put on his people. The one of the curses is that our sons and our daughters will be taken away. Another one of the curses is we was going to be cursed in every city that we, that we live in. We was going to be cursed in every field that we work. It's hard for a black man to get a job out here. Guaranteed. I'm telling you, they did a, they did a study that said if your name sounds too black, they'll reject your resume. That's a study that they did and they know it to be Question. true. God said you would be cursed because we're not listening to God's law. We used to scream black power.
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.